All right, so check it out, guys. We are gonna go into a Chinese store. We call it Oriental Market here in Winnipeg, and we're gonna pick up some some of these dumpling wrappers that I'm gonna use for our our sucker dumplings. Yes, can we make these wrappers by hand? We definitely can. But honestly, I just want to be able to do it nice and quick. Like in terms of things like your soy sauce. Um, chicken stock and all that kind of stuff you can buy at your regular uh, grocery store. If you're looking for wonton, like dumpling wrappers, you do have to go to these these little Chinese stores. So let's, let's go check it out. Now there are differences in dumpling wrappers that you can use. So what I want to do with the, the sucker dumplings is I want to pan fry them. You go to a Chinese, a Chinese grocery store, they will tell you which ones are different. So I mean, you got everything here. You got your, your spring roll wraps. You have your egg roll wraps. Uh, these are the ones I'm looking at right here. The wings, dumpling wrappers. It, it, it doesn't get any easier than that. It just says dumpling wrappers on there, so you can know that. This is the double happiness. The double happiness is actually a little thinner. The thinner ones are actually really good if you want to boil your dumplings. Uh, because yes, you don't have to always pan fry and fry everything. I know as fishermen, we love doing that. We love throwing it in the oil and just, bah, just bubble it up. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with these nice thicker ones. You're gonna need some green onions, some cilantro. So there's many kind of soy sauces out there, but the one I really like to use is the seafood soy sauce. Since we are working with seafood, it goes very, very well. It's light, it's a light soy sauce. You can buy stuff like this. If you're worried about sodium, you can buy that one. Just a little bit of rice vinegar, why not? Remember that sucker video I did with the sucker fish cakes? I put my screaming sumo hot sauce in there. I make my chili garlic oil by, by myself, but I did say you can find it in stores. And there you go. That's a chili garlic oil. Five bottles of soy sauce. Who would buy five bottles of soy sauce? Chinese folks. These chopsticks are for all my friends that can't use them. We usually call them kid chopsticks. Adults need these as well. <laughs> Back at the house right now, I have all the ingredients here on the table. Basically, I'm going to show you what I have. We have a little bit of cabbage. We have green onions. We have cilantro. I have fresh red hot Thai chilies. And I have the guest of the night, sucker fillet. I'm going to just get these ingredients ready. All right, we got some red hot Thai chilies. These are my favorite. I like to make my, my stuff spicy. This though, however, is optional. So if you don't like hot, you don't have to use them. So we got filling for these dumplings. We're gonna chop up. We're gonna actually chop it up almost like into coleslaw, but even smaller. We've already filleted our suckers. Uh, they're nicely filleted. There's a little bit of a bloodline in there. I'm not gonna take it out just because, you know what, it's gonna be a lot more work because we're still gonna grind it up and season it, so you're not gonna taste it. At the tail, I wanna make, I'm gonna make these like quarter inch strips. You can hear the pin bones just getting crushed as we're going in. All right, so I chopped up all my uh, all my suckers into those little quarter inch strips. Uh, now we're going to grind it up or put it in the food processor. Another thing is if you don't have a grinder or you don't have a food processor, there is another way that you can do it and that's by grabbing two knives and just using some manpower and chopping it up. You can do that. I just like throwing the pulse down and then just watching the meat just get nice and grounded up. There you go, nicely ground up. All the pin bones should be nicely dissolved. You can look at that. We're gonna just put it back into our bowl. So here comes the fun part. We're gonna do the dumpling fillings. We have your ground up sucker meat. We have cabbage. We have cilantro, green onions, optional red hot Thai chili, chicken broth, chicken stock, extra olive oil, sesame, uh, soy sauce, rice vinegar, salt, that's the sugar, garlic if you like garlic, black peppers, and our red hot chili oil. Sumo sauce. So first, we're gonna start by adding a little bit of chicken stock to it. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of 
our soy sauce, and I told you earlier I like this seafood soy sauce. Hard to find, but any kind of light soy sauce, kikkomen, that kind of stuff, amboy. Some extra virgin olive oil. Let's give it a little bit of fats, because our salt. Black pepper. Garlic salt. Teaspoon of sugar. Back to mixing. You want to make sure you get mix all the way in. You can smell that. It smells so good. I'm going to add a little bit of rice vinegar. Not much. Just a little bit. In terms of like the hot sauce that I brought to the table, we're not going to put it into this main batch. I'll separate it after and then make some hot, some hot dumplings. So we're going to mix our cabbage in here. And you want to just mix it in nicely. All that cabbage. Green onions and cilantro. I took some out of the big bowl, put it into a small bowl. I'm gonna make the small bowl into a spicy fish dumpling. Added my red hot Thai chilies, and then I'm adding my special screaming sumo hot sauce. Oh yeah, I'll put two scoops in there. I'm gonna mix it all in. Mmm. <laughs> That looks fantastic. So that's ready. Now I have my little helper here, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, say hi. Originally, I bought these dumpling wrappers, but they're really, really thick. Being so thick, they were hard to actually fold over to make the little creases. So I went out and I bought another brand, thinner ones, which will fold up a little easier. So she wash your hands there first. Oh, they feel way thinner already, which is good. There you go, one for you, one for me. We got some water here. You dip your finger in. Yeah, first. and take your. And then you take your wrap. Yeah. And or... then you put it like the water around the edges. So then you put them around the edges like this. That a girl. Oh yeah, these are nice. And you thick. grab some meat. So you pinch it, and then what you're gonna do is do little folds. One, two, three. One, See, I put too much two. In. You got these cute little dumping folds. Give it a little curl here. Just curl it. There you go. Look at that. Check it out. I already put one of the trays into the freezer because what you want to do is you want to take, you want to take them while they're individually like this, and then put it in the freezer. Then once they're frozen, then you can put them into Ziploc bags and store them away. Make sure you don't forget to date them. Let me show you how to cook these uh, these dumplings. The best way that I find to cook them is to actually use a non-stick pan. I have it on high right now. I'm going to add some oil there. I got my dumplings ready to rock. We're going to wait till it heats up and then we're going to put them in. All right, let's start putting them in. Because you want the dumplings to get like nice and golden brown underneath. So it's, it's almost getting there. We're going to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to add some vinegar right here. One to two. Two parts water, one part vinegar. There you go. And you're going to do that for about five minutes. Turn it down to a medium heat. Now that you added the water to, uh, to the pan, you're gonna, the bottom is already nice and crispy. Now you're going to use the water. The steam from the water is going to cook the top part. It's kind of like you get the soft top part and the crispy bottom. You'll see at the end. You want to burn out all the all the water, so you want it to evaporate out of your pan. You just got to keep an eye on it because I want the water to evaporate. Top is nicely cooked, bottom is golden crispy brown. I'm sorry if I don't plate it properly, but you can see, look at that nice golden brown. It's beautiful. I'm going to give my plating presentation kind of an F. What do you think, Janine? F. <laughs> Minus. Sucker dumplings. This is all. It smells, it looks good. Let's get ready to eat. I kind of do a soya vinaigrette dipping sauce. You can use any light soy sauce. We're gonna go one to one, or one or one to a half. Depends on how sour you like it. Then you're gonna add vinegar to it. Garlic chili water, which I love. There you go. We're gonna top it off with just a little bit of cilantro. You can put green onions in there as well. But this one's hot, 
that one's that one's not hot. Well, it's supper time. We we got one plate going. The kid and the wife are starved, and we've been making this all day. So we're gonna get going. I'm starting. Let's start. Get okay, girls, get started. Sucker fish dumplings, Chinese style. Obviously, you gotta have your chopsticks. What do you think, Janine? How is it? Delicious. Very good, eh? I haven't eaten anything. What do you think, Jasmine? What do you think? Do you like it? Second batch turned out really, really nice. Oh, see, check out this masterpiece this time. Everything was nice and light golden brown. If you really want to do a presentation on it. Well, there you go. That's another another way that you can use uh, sucker meat. Honestly, you can use like walleye. You can use pike. Any kind of fish, honestly, you can use on this recipe. Uh, I implore you to give it a go. It's a different way than other than always doing like mean fish fries and stuff like that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to our Facebook and YouTube channel at Big China Outdoors. Other than that, I'm hungry once again. I'm going to eat. Stay tuned for more videos. But we are out of here. Bye. Peace.